Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderbus Lure Company and today I'd like to share with you a very simple, quick and absolute delicious way on how to cook fish. This recipe folks is so easy, it takes less than 15 minutes from start to finish and it is absolutely delicious. Today what I'm going to do, I'm going to be cooking up some sea bass. So if we take a look here, we have a couple of sea bass fillets, we have some slivers of butter, we also have some uh, breadcrumbs and a couple of different spices. And that's really all you need, folks, for this recipe. So all you need to do, folks, is take your breadcrumbs, like I say, put them in a plastic bag like so, and then take your favorite spices and spice them up a bit. Today I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika, just like so. And I'm gonna add, also add some uh, lemon pepper. Lemon pepper has uh, salt and pepper in there and a bit of lemon, so that's a fantastic spice to use. And uh, now that I've added my spices, I'm just going to mix that up a bit in the bag. And then quite simply, take your fillets, drop them in the bag. So you have your seasoned breadcrumbs in there, drop your fillets in the bag, and then give them a shake. Coat them up nicely with that mixture that you just put in. Make sure they're well coated. There we go. That's perfect. Now they're ready for the broiler pan. I'm going to take them out and place them on those slivers of butter that we uh, pre-staged earlier. Okay, so there's a nice fillet right there. Perfect. Take the other fillet. Put it on the other side, just like so. So now that we have that done, we're going to take a little bit of paprika and just sprinkle the top of those fillets just ever so lightly, just like so. Perfect. Now what we want to do is add a little more butter. I'm going to take some slivers of butter and just sprinkle them on the top here. Okay, I'm just going to take some slivers of butter like so. Cut them like that. Now if, if for some reason you don't want to use butter, you can substitute and use margarine. And again, I'm just putting slivers on just like so. Fairly, fairly thin. They don't have to be thick and that's going to soak in and penetrate and be very, very nicely with those fish. Cook up very, very nicely. Okay, that's, that's enough butter. Okay. So all we need to do now, folks, is put our broiler on high, set it to high, and make sure that your grill is on the top rack like so. And we're going to just put that broiling pan right in there. We've got the broiler on high. We're going to set the timer for... What we're going to do, we're going to set the timer for 11 minutes. So folks, while our fish is cooking, I'll just mention to you that what I like to typically do is get some rice started to cook, because rice takes about 20 minutes to cook. So once your rice is started, then you can start preparing your fish and at the end of 20 minutes, 25 minutes, you'll have a nice plate of fish with a side order of rice. And if you want to cook some, uh, some uh, vegetables now while the, fish is, uh, while the fish is cooking, you'll end up with a real nice meal. Okay, 11 minutes is up. Stop the broiler. Oh, it's absolutely perfect. Cook to perfection. How about that, folks? Okay. Now, I'm going to take these off. They slide off nicely. Try to keep them in one piece, just like so. Take my other fillet. Oh, they're cooked to perfection. Just like so. And if you have some company coming over, you can add a sprig of parsley or two. And there you have it, folks. So there's one absolute delicious recipe, simple ingredients, fast, easy to make, and it's sure to become one of your favorites, I guarantee it. Until next time, folks, as always, good luck, good fishing, and bon appetit. One last thing, folks. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our videos by clicking on the button most likely found right over here as we have a lot more fish catching action coming your way. And if you haven't yet, be sure to check out our website at thundermissfishingtips.com as we have a lot more articles there and fish catching advice for you. So until next time, good luck and good fishing.